Hello, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome to day 87 of 99 Days of Gratitude, a practice for sisters. Today we'll be contemplating El Jami. My name is Gina Petanito, and I am the founding member of the Muslima Virtual Co writing community and my business, Writing Your Way. Why gratitude? Say, it is Allah who has produced you and made for you hearing and vision and hearts. Little are you grateful. And this is from Surah Mulk, verse 23. Today, we're going to call on El Jami, often translated as the gatherer. And one of the things that we learn about El Jami is that Allah gathers all of our parts together to make our perfect form. And so hence my, my gratitude item uh, for today, where we talked about how Allah created our hearts and our sight and our hearing. Reading from the most beautiful names of Allah by Samira Thea Khawalda, Allah has the power to gather the bones and particles of every body from wherever they may be scattered for the reckoning. And in the hereafter, Allah gathers the good in paradise where they may enjoy each other's company and the bad are thrown together in hell. Yeah, El Jami, join me with the righteous when you gather us all on the day of judgment. My gratitude item for today, I am grateful to El Jami for gathering all my body parts and fashioning them into my perfect form. And what I could do to please Allah, you know, Juma is the time of gathering from the same root. Develop a Yom El Juma routine. Some items to include, read Surah al kahf make ghusl, make lots of dua during the day, arrive to Salah early, and send peace and blessings to the Prophet. And there's evidence for each one of these things, but I don't have time to give you the hadith for all of them. Hopefully at one point, I'll put it below the video, all of the hadith, you'll be able to refer to them there. Our daily affirmation, I gather people together to enjoin the good and forbid the evil. This is from Surat Ali Imran, verse 104. Let there arise out of you a band of people inviting to all that is good, enjoining what is right and forbidding what is wrong. They are the ones to attain felicity. So here's some gatherings that you could do right now. You could have two or three sisters come together for a halakha. You can have a few sisters come together for Quran reading or study circles. Or you could have an accountability group. Let's say that you read a page of Quran every day and you are accountable to the people in your group. Lots of things that you can do right now very easily with other sisters or even with members of your family. Jazakumallah khair for spending this short period of time with me, for Sister Kate Hepburn for encouraging this gratitude practice, for Sister Samira Fayed Khawalda for writing the most beautiful names of Allah, the link to purchase this book is right below this video. A shout out to the wonderful artists and photographers used in this presentation. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. See you on day 88.